What's up, punters and dribblers? Welcome back to another episode of About Even. Number one betting show on the face of the fucking planet. Shout out to our good friends at Neds for having us once again. We love you and we miss you and we love you. We don't really miss you though, do we? Uh, we have got, what, two, three weeks to go now? Is this our third last show? I'm not 100% sure on the on the Third details. last show. So we do it because we, we do a post. Week, then we've got next week, yeah. then we've got awards. Yeah, but we right. don't have any misters because we're not... We're only doing NRL, right? So we've lost the misters. Well, fuck. Listen, we, maybe that's something to think about for season 2025, which I'm not going to think about now. But you're right. We have lost the right for mister. Unless you have the, you've got, you'll have a mister unit scooper. Yeah, but like, if that's just one, you're not a mister unless there's like a few misters around. Yeah. It's like watching yeah. Power Rangers. What about, could you do, a, could you do like a mister like. triple? Who's got the most triples over the season? We can so do a mister <laughs> triple, a mister stags. Like we can do some. We can do some misters. Okay. But listen, we definitely need to probably work out a way to have a few more misters moving forward. Guru, you may not know what the fuck we're talking about. No yeah. idea what's going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> misters was when we were doing all sports or multiple sports. And see, then you'd be a Mr. NRL, Mr. AFL, yeah. Mr. Mr. Uh, Formula One, Mr. Golf, yeah. Mr. Uh, Baggy Green, Mr. Voldemort. Ooh. Calm down, dickhead. You are oh, close, right. though. <laughs> you are close. You are unimaginably close. This is the theatre we wanted. Boys. Yeah, this is the, you are you are sickeningly close. Just to set the scene, obviously you'll need to you'll need to go suck Smithies Smithies from the back if you end up getting it because your Smithies bets this year have basically potentially got you a Baggy Green. Well, listen, he's still got to win. Now you are ahead. We'll get to the accountability, but you are ahead. Um, you can be run down even down to the final bet. Like you can be. You know you what the beauty have. of the hot seat is? I don't even have to win to win. Well, the hot it's seat won. If Sebo wins this week, yep. then he needs to win the grand final hot seat. I'm cheering Sebo on this. But week. if you lose this week, then Guru needs to hit his grand final. Like that is that's the that's theater. He might already have the season sewn up. He needs his fucking grand final one to hit. It doesn't hit. It does hit. Scenes now. Should we get... Well, actually, before we get into our accountability, a reminder of our grand final rip and tear uh, at the Million Dollar Chase. Uh, now, the date is Friday, the October the... Shit, 17th or 18th? 18th. 18th. Friday, October 18th at Wentworth Park. Tickets are on sale at milliondollarchase.com.au right now. Come and have a rip with us. We'll get in a little bit more because we will talk about some, uh, some poochies a little later on in the show. Shout out to Tequila Tommy who fucked us last week. Yeah. Come um, get loose. Come celebrate the season. Yeah. Dress up in your general admission fineries. I know will be now. Mm. Uh, you know, think, think fucking dogs Friday night loose. Dogs Friday night loose. Tickets uh, include a four-hour drinks and food package uh, as well. As Plus you get to meet Rue. Yeah. Who won't have a baggy green because he's going to fucking bury him. He's going he's gonna to lose it from here somehow. He'll also, we'll do, the, we'll do the presentation there. The belt. Yeah. The green, if he gets it, unlikely. Which he won't. MillionDollarChase.com.au. Come yeah. and have a rip with us. Let's get into some accountability, please, Edward. Thank you, Tom. Short and sharp this week, punters and dribblers. Why? Two games last week. That's why. Sharks 26 defeated the Cowboys 18. Lot of red. Mm. <coughs> the Cows didn't win. Mm. Okay, Tua Lange didn't score, Didden didn't score, Robson didn't score, Felt didn't score, Teague Wilton didn't score, Hazelton didn't score. The Lippy was closest. He had Sharks, Mulatalo, Mulatalo rather, and Teague, so he was two from three. Nothing doing. Absolutely fuck all. Nothing to get excited about. Congratulations to the Sharks on getting the win. It was desperation stuff really at the end, wasn't it? In terms of if they didn't get this win, we were saying you basically have to just wipe the top 30. Because they'd have PTSD yep. and just start again. I'd be honest, because we all were on the cows. Hindsight, which is a beautiful thing. Oh, it's 2020. Well, it is. The Sharks needed to win. Cows That's, didn't but I, need to win. Sharks needed to win. As, and as the game came closer and closer, by Friday, I was of that opinion, that they need to win here. That's I've also said that they do the opposite of what you think. And we all thought the cows would pump them. And the Sharks won. You're is like, that an insight into your bet this week against the Panthers? Uh, no, because it's not the... It doesn't work against the Panthers. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't count like that stuff. You know, it's against similar opposition. Uh, right, right. Right, okay. Right, right. Well, that makes a lot of yeah, sense. Yeah, right. Okay, cool. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Uh, congratulations to the Sharks. Shocked Hazelton didn't go over. That's probably the most shocking part of, of accountability this week. Hazelton not scoring. Yep. 
shocked the punter and the dribbler to their very, very core. Storm 37. No, sorry, I haven't updated that. The Roosters, was it 40? 40. Defeated the Seagulls, insert number. 16. 16. 16. 16. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> I, uh, I thoroughly enjoyed the Instagram story that night, boys. I thought that was great content. Yeah, thanks, I imagine it would have been tough, but it was great content. It, it was, was edge. Yeah, it was tough. It was edge. Luckily... By the grace of God and God being alcohol, I don't remember a lot of it. So, well, it numbs the pain. Yeah, and it was numbing yep. a lot of pain that night because there was a f- we were surrounded by Chooks fans. So. The uh, Scotty Bellotti Hainsey shirt was just <laughs> chef's dude. Kiss I want me. one of those. I love that well, Hainsey. <laughs> uh, we forgot to mention the fact that we had a go- we had a bit of a Yahoo with Hainsey. Hainsey, a great a good man, fella. a really really nice guy. Uh, he was humble in, in victory. He was actually humble in victory. I didn't expect that to be the case. I thought he'd be given serious lip. Yeah, he could have been. Yeah. He, was, uh, he was quite nice about it. He was measured. Yeah, he was measured. He was measured. Shout so, out to Hainsey, though. Well but done, Hainsey. I'm a Hainsey fan. I sent him a message after my uh, after I you know shit-talked the Roosters for the last few weeks. I would say, congratulations on the win, mate. And he just replied with, so happy to prove you wrong, prick. <laughs> oh, I just okay. There you go. He does have lip. Okay, yeah, he's got a bit of lip to him. Oh, he didn't lip. Which I back. I'm all for. No, I just I like that. Oh, so the kid's got lip. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. Maybe just a dad. Now, <laughs> the lay of the land was a lot of red again. Manly, Lawton, Brooks, Lehigh, Suali'i, DCE, Satili. Nothing doing. Yeah, Lehigh. I just couldn't believe Lehigh didn't score. <sighs> Can't believe Lehigh. God's <laughs> sake! I mean, if you were if you're a big if you're a big Lehigh supporter, which I am, and so Tom is, you'd be disappointed. You were disappointed uh, in the final throws of the game. There was just there was opportunities there to if, to, to <laughs> just praise Lehigh. Listen, we said it. I think on our Monday show, we put Lehigh over our knee and we gave him him any time one of the great spankings, and it didn't seem to teach him a lesson. Because he didn't, it didn't work. No, it didn't work. And we're the poor for it. That's right. Responsibly well, so. Literally. Uh, the Lippy was close again. Had the Roosters, Tupo and Satili. So he falls one leg short in both games. The unit scoopers, Tualangi and Talao, first, second, or third for Tom. None from two. I had Kyle Felton, Lehigh, first try scorer, and none from two. Seba had Tualangi, Felt, Katoa, Suali'i, and Olakawatu, one from five. Rue had Manly, plus six and a half. DC, Robson, and Cows, plus six and a half. He was none from four. And the Lippy, Roosters, one to 12. Sharks, one to 12. Dummy, one, two, three. Or Katoa, one, two, three. He had one from four. The hot seat. <laughs> <laughs> the hot seat. Tom had Lehigh. He's out. That's his season done. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Sebo goes in. Sebo into the mm. hot seat. Yep. I'm still a sniff here. If he, if Sebo loses and Rue loses, I mean, it's probably going to happen. Can, I, I can win a thousand. There's been bucks. one or two hot seat. Oh, banks. it's been yeah. it's been fucking awful. <laughs> it's no, it just has been, been again. It's, it's just been, awful. been it's been bad. <laughs> it's been so shit. Yeah. <laughs> I would all like that'd be so pure for me for you to lose this week and then Rue slip. And let the baggy green go, and I win a thousand bucks. That'd be nice. That, listen, I'd be happy. That'd be with that really outcome. nice. You'd be happy. I'd be, I'd happy, be happy. I think we'd all be happy with that, except, except, for, Rue. except for Rue. I want Sebo to win this week. I'm backing him in. I don't, I don't want to make that decision next week. Of course, you want him to win. That's, That's selfish. Because you're a pussy. Yeah. With no go. I'll be a pussy with a baggy green, though. Well, that's Back a good point. In. There yeah, are bigger pussies you, with them. You want to win a baggy green, though. You don't want to fall into one. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't give less fucks. <laughs> yeah, no, look, it's fair. It's Weekly fair. leaderboard. Rue and Sebo tied. Is that the first time we've had a tied, a tied week? As far as I'm aware, yeah. yeah. Uh, none from three. This is this makes interesting reading. Legs, one <laughs> from ten for Guru. Sebo, one from twelve. Uh, Tom had one from nine. I had Jesus one from eight Christ. legs. The Lippy five from ten, but he was fourth. So Guru and Seb minus one point two nine. Tom minus one point six six. Lippy minus two point two four, and I minus two point five six. Guru thirty two point one nine in the red. He's the leader overall. I think you're better off just saying minus thirty two point thirty two point one in the red. Sounds almost. It sounds positive for too long. You need to start. <laughs> With the minus, I'm there. trying to make you sound better. <laughs> well, we are. This is this, this is, is this has fallen. This has fallen this into has an been, absolute heap. This has been the worst season of all time by a country by mile. such a long margin. Tom minus seventy six point one four. Lippy minus eighty point nine. I minus ninety one point oh one. And Sebo's minus minus ninety six point eight. With the futures, 
built in, I'm probably like minus 92-ish. And Sebo would be about nine, minus 92 and a half. So you could like be coming that. last. It's probably probably half a point in it for us. It, it pretty close. Like it's I've, really close. Yeah. It's really close. Because I've got it's, my futures. And I saw, I do have the Roosters to make the GF. Long odds, I know, but I still have a futures bet alive. You know what I mean? I've got one alive. What's still. your what's your sorry. Roosters to make the GF. Just to make the GF. Yeah, what yeah. was that? It's like five bucks or something. Oh, wow. I yeah. think I've got that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We both did that one. So I don't know what the fuck I did with those ones. Manly. So if, you went pretty so, manly. Yeah. <laughs> so you didn't do Rabbitohs? I did to win the GF. So we did to win oh. and then to just make. Well, then I don't know what I did to make. Maybe I, I think Penrith. you did Penrith. Yeah, I think I might have done Penrith. Yeah. I did the Broncos. <laughs> so obviously <laughs> that hasn't happened. <laughs> 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 Uh, I'm in real bad shape. This is also like the per- first time that the lippy is not coming last at this stage. Of well, the, the lippy, if you want to look at leg percentage, which I found interesting, this is legs, not bets. The lippy, 7.56% bet percentage, awful. But winning the leg percentage, 37.06%. Mm. It's all bad. It, it's all bad reading. 10.98%. 11 and a half, 7.56, 10.98, 8.71% in the bets. It's nice to have I'm – lead, I'm leading bet percentage, which is obviously a it's silver really lining. I don't uh, want to kick whilst down, but it doesn't feel like that long ago, Ed, that we were out in front leading. Was well, my, my – listen, I, my triple's got away from me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. My triple's got away from me. Uh, uh, if, well. if I were to excavate my triples, not good. No. Nah. Not good nah, at there's all. There's some bad ones. There's some bad ones in there. Listen, Guru, Guru, like swinging his dick at minus thirty two point one. We keep, we take, we keep talking about it. A couple of lucky unit scoopers. Other, if without them, he's out of money. It's just a fact. Yeah, and I really should be up two hundred units, and it's just it is what it is. That's fine. Big shooter, guys. Yeah. You yep. Should. Well, yes. it's the currency in which we trade. <laughs> <laughs> That's accountability. That's accountability. We should probably do some betting. Uh, again, will be a pretty quick one because there's only two games of rugby league football. The first, Friday night, down at Amy Park. Ooh. Just realised where it was getting played. Storm v. the Roosters. Where would you, where'd you think it was going? <laughs> well, no, I was just thinking scope bet. I was thinking scope bet. I just hadn't uh, thought about scope bet. Uh, uh, Storm. Uh, dollar twenty eight. The Roosters three eighty. The line is ten and a half, and the total forty five and a half. Rando, how are you, sir? Welcome back to the show once more. Thank you. Uh, pretty disappointed after Friday night's performance, but Sucking. we're here at the moment. Uh, I guess for this game, Melbourne, it's going to be nice and dry on Friday night. It'll be sold out as well uh, for this match. Uh, The Storm, they love playing at home. There's no surprise there. They have won nine of their 11 games. They have won 10 of their last 11 games against the Roosters. Storm have also won their last six, or all six, shall I say, Friday night finals games played in Melbourne. They've won nine out of 13 games against the Roosters at Amy Park with six out of those nine wins by 13 plus points. Another stat here just to cement Melbourne Storm winning by a record margin. Xavier Coates, he hasn't lost at Amy Park since 2022, winning his last 16 games at the venue. He scored 16 tries in those 16 games. If you're looking for total points, the last 10 games at Amy Park between these two sides have gone under the handicap of 45 and a half points. Daniel Tupo is my favourite try scorer here. He scored in five of his last six games. The Roosters have scored 50% of their tries in the last five games down their left edge. The left winger is the joint top try scoring position against the Storm, along with the right winger, with 16 tries, including a try in two of the last three games. Daniel Tupo is the most uh, best priced, I guess, winger out of all four this week, 225. Listen, I'll be honest. I looked at the scope bet, and at fifty six dollars, it's still not high enough odds for me. Uh, fifth, sorry, fifty six plus a, a result in there. I am picking the Roosters to win this one. I know that that's yeah. You, you, you I've are been you bullish t- on that because bloke said it the other day. Who said it? Bloke. Kempi. Mm. No, I was saying I've been saying I've been asking mm, that question. I just thought you might have borrowed that. Well, no, I haven't. But shout out to Kempi. Two great rugby league minds. I'm actually shocked that Denon made a. 
and had an, a genuine non-fence sitting opinion well, on I anything. think he said they could win, but they could also not. Okay, well, see, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. There I'm were splinters the around still. Yeah, yeah, like, exactly. Yeah. I'm going with the Roosters, but I probably will bet on the Storm, but I think the Roosters could win it in a world where... They win. Two gay and two teams play rugby league. I, I'm just sort of going, fuck it. You got to... Especially at this time of the year when you're basically fucked... And they beat Manly. I'm like, fuck it. Let's see the Roosters in there. I like Angus Crichton any time, but I also just like Angus Crichton as a person. So he's going to go in there. And then I'm just going, well, let's just try to juice this thing with some like, with some reasonably uh, valued try scorers. Domi Young at two bucks never happens. Yep. So I take that and I smack it around a little bit. Oh, you're going to smack I'm it? I'm going to smack it around spank a little bit. Spank it or smack I'm it? I'm going to smack it around a little bit. Backhand, front hand, smack it. No Side spanking. Hand. And then you throw in a Cam Munster. Side hand? No, that would hurt me, I think. Okay, I was just checking. I don't want to break a, a finger there. So, And then I'm throwing in a Cam Munster, just because. So you go Roosters, Dommy Young, Angus Crichton, Cam Munster. You triple stake it at yep. 98, 95. Yep. And you're looking at some brave betting. Seb? Like I'm going to follow a bit of Rando's stuff here. I'm just, look, I'm throwing together a bunch of try scorers. Uh, Am I like running out of units? Yes, and need high odds, but it's also like the season's nearly over, and I just need a big bang, you know, for my own like like you know when you're playing rugby league and like oh they can use that win for next year and rebuild on it. I need that, mm. you know what I mean? Uh, so I'm going Coates two plus two plus, then Toops, Pap, and Teddy eighty one twenty nine. Look, it's not going to be an immortal bet, but it's pretty close in the odds because it is just kind of pieced together out of desperation. There isn't much more narrative to it than that. Um, yeah, that's me. Mm. That's all I got. Yep. I had originally Hughes, Meany, and Tedesco slips, who's just slipping into some fucking anytime form like you wouldn't believe. The man's been banging regularly. Good to see him at work. But then I saw Connor Watson the other day in Mecca. I was dishevelled after a big night um, numbing the pain. As we all know, punters and dribblers, Saturday night did not go to plan. I may have got home a little bit late. I may have forgotten my key. I may have wake, woken up my pregnant wife to let me in, who then couldn't get back to sleep for a couple of hours. That was my fault. I get it. I put my hand up and I, got, and I accepted blame. But when you accept blame in the purest form, Rue, it means that you have to pay your dues mm. and you have to pay the tax. My tax was... Uh, going up to Bondi Junction to do a little bit of shopping, okay? She needed a couple of things. I'm like, I'm going to go up there and do it with you. I'm into my third hour of wandering around that shithole. And Connor said he'd play Cammy for ages and said he looked, I looked like the most broken man in all, in all Westfield. Now, that's just a roundabout way of me saying that I'm going to put Connor Watson in there and boost my odds to $220.46. That's cents. insane. Yeah, I kind of question I just but. checked it. It's, it's legit, true. and yeah, I put okay. money on it. And I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> I just put money on it. That's um, an insane. And it's getting tripled. What's and it's it? getting tripled. Teddy Hughes Meany is fucking humongous. $220.46. I kind of want to steal that. <laughs> it's tripled. It's tripled. It's tripled. How what? the fuck does that even make sense? <laughs> what's I got Connor on it before like, Ned's realised that they fucking... Uh, what's he paying? He's paying like nine bucks. Eight twenty-five, which is he's starting in dummy half. He's starting dummy half. Yep, that's a lot of. And fun. he breaks through those fucking. He, he's, he can he can get. He's played eleven games against the Storm, no tries. Teddy, he hasn't scored against the Storm since the twenty nineteen prelim. So that's probably why mm. odds mm. could be. So what if I'm feeling mm. and looking mm. like shit <laughs> on a Sunday, and I have to write a list of the last guys I want to run into that I know? Connor's right up there. Because how hot he looks no matter yeah. what. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, He was battered and bruised himself after a big game of rugby league. And he's also a really nice guy and he's easy to talk to. There, there's other people that, you know, I could list that I won't. No, I like mean strictly coat. from an optical, I'm next to you, I look like shit, you always look fucking good. Exactly. Yeah, we well, when me and Ella walked off from arcing about how attractive, because he was with his partner and Ella's like, she's like the hottest thing of all time. And uh, now I feel, you know. Like a basic bitch. I'm like, well, listen, you're comparing yourselves to unicorns. Those two are unicorns. Yeah. We're just regular people. They're just unicorns you're just, trotting through Mecca. You just, you, you just make your peace with it. That's fair. That is fair. I thought you were going to say she was saying that about Connor, which would have made you feel like a basic bitch. Well, oh, she's already said that about Connor many yeah. times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Connor's delicious. And the hottest man in the game, in my opinion. Yep. I remember at your pink party, he was standing there and he kept saying to me and Maddie the Waterboy, he's like, I don't know if this shirt works. I don't know if I... Oh, yeah. Like, oh. We were like, 
like, cunt, the shirt Connor. plays. The shirt it, is, oh, is fantastic. You're the hottest fucker here by a mile. It Please shut pl- up. It played so spectacularly. Yeah. 246 tripled. I just... Give me this. Give me something, gods. <laughs> give me something. I can't believe those odds. I, uh, I Listen, go to Rue while I think about what I'm going to do. With if one of you can share that in the About Even group, I'd appreciate it. I can do that for you, mate. Uh, look, I'll share it to my profile. Probably having a little... Uh, Follow me Ned's profile. Civilly pile well, it's not... I'll too. share it to mine. Well, I've already put it up, so I might share it first. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, I love Rando Stats. Daniel Tupu. Already had him in there. Jack Howarth going at that. Rooster's right edge I like. And I'm going to take the Storm to win by 11 to 20. I think the Roosters put up a fight. I think they'll get away from them late. I reckon the Storm win by like 16 or 18. Uh, so triple that. Tupu Howard Storm win by 11 to 20. $26.32. You're still able to bet. I mean, this is conservative <laughs> by about even standards. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. Yeah. Yeah. You can do whatever you want. Really. Yeah. I just wish. I mean, fuck, it's not, not Take me back to like, <laughs> take me back to the 330 odds stage, you know, start of the season. Yeah. I got a bet so huge. <laughs> my, my next bet's, you could argue, not high enough. No, it's but not. I, but I like it. I my like the bet. I really absurd. like the bet. Uh, who's out, Lippy Sebo? We had to throw out an SOS late because your first Lippy yeah. fucking fell through. Yeah, didn't get back to me uh we've got lachlan walsh okay he's blacklisted whoever didn't get back to you Mm. yeah um i'll block him on the instagram account (laughs) (laughs) actually Uh, do that though but yeah lachlan walsh he just got through first there was about seven million messages just went to the first one and he popped up so and he's just taking melbourne brick and manu for 893 (sighs) again a guy i mean they don't have much money but I i like that though like i like you know that's, yeah, I mean, I, I Give up unit, Slippy. Let me get close. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Lachlan Walsh has got real private school. Yeah, Lachlan. Yeah, he does. He does. Yeah. He probably could do with a, a, a hyphenated last name mm. a little bit. It's funny because a hyphenated last name can be like very rugby league these days as well. But it's not actually. Yeah. It depends what's on either side of the hyphen, really. Yes, that's like, true. It's a great yeah. point. Um, yes. All right. Well, let's move on to the last game of the round. <laughs> Panthers v the Sharks. Now, this is out at a core stadium for you brave souls who could be bothered. Panthers $1.25, the Sharks 4 bucks. One thing we do know is the Sharks fans will not be at this game because they refuse to travel. All oh, the train lines were down. Shut up. Uh, line is 11.5, the total 42.5. Rando. Uh, it's going to be cloudy for this game. Potential shower, but probably going to be dry for the kickoff. The Sharks, they have lost seven of their last eight games against Penrith. They haven't scored against the Panthers since the 11th minute of their 2022 game. That was 229 minutes of footy ago. Uh, but $1.25 for Penrith isn't that great. Penrith to score 20 plus only. Looks good at $1.80. The Sharks have also struggled in second halves, losing by 16 or more points in three of their last four second halves. Uh, the second half for Pe- the second half line, sorry for Penrith, is minus five and a half. Penrith to win the second half by nine plus points is two dollars fifteen. For try scorers, Isaac Tungo has scored eight tries in eleven games that Nathan Cleary has played this season. That is compared to two tries in thirteen games without him. Tago- Tungo has scored in two of his three games against the Sharks, and the Sharks have conceded forty three percent of their tries in the last five games down their left edge. If you're looking for a bit more value, Jerome Luai at $4.40. He scored in his last three games against the Sharks and the Sharks have conceded a try to a 5-8 in three of their last five games. If you're looking for even more value, three of Luai's four tries this season have either been first, second or third. Well, fuck me dead, Rando. <laughs> what are we thinking, Ned? I was perusing through the markets I, because I, I had heard your stat around the Sharks not scoring in two and a half years or whatever. Then I started looking at, you know, markets like the Sharks to only score one try or no tries. And then I stumbled upon Panthers to only team to score 10 plus points at $3.30. Seems like a lot for a side that can't get it done against the, the the defensive juggernaut that is the Panthers. I like that a lot. Mm. I also like our boy Garner, who just has a, a lot about him. And ever since we got him in the other the other the other week, just uh, tickles me in the right areas. If you right. know what I'm trying to say. Yep. Cleary as well because the guys 
he's just fucking big game, dude. And I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if a little couple of show and goes across the chalk late. Twenty four seventy six. I'm just a big fan of that Panthers to score ten plus only. Got a question for you down the end there, rugby league guru, but also Rando, you may be able to provide some assistance here with regards to Luke Garner. Is there a Scott Sorensen coming back this weekend to fuck He's on the extended. Okay. That could fuck me big time. Mm. That could fuck me real hard. Rando, you, and he would you jump to the bench where though, he's, he's... But he's come off the bench in school. Well, my bet's... Oh, uh, yes. So I, might I just thought the fact that they had the week off... Penrith and they're still playing with the Sorensen on the extended bench says enough about the doubt for him to play in this game. Because he's not a massive player not to name the starting side if he was going to play. With the greatest respect to Scott Sorensen. <laughs> it's a little disrespectful, but, I do, but you <laughs> are in, making as some in, good points. As in you're saying... I'm saying that if he was fit to play, he would like, play. Sh- you know, yeah. Oh, Scotty, is he going to yeah. play? Is he not? Yeah, really I get that. He? Yeah. yeah, when yeah. you've got Luke Garner who can play footy mm. yeah. in yep. the side now. Yep. Okay. All right. Good. Well, I'm going to allow Sebo to go because my bet, my bet's like a lippy bet, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm, I'm just taking three trustworthy guys here because I just, I think the Panthers put the Sharks to the sword, and I th- Toto goes over. Cleary, big game player, and then Rando was he saying that hookers score against Sharks and all that sort of stuff? I, I was know. saying that last week. I say, yo, isn't a hooker a bit like? A <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Mitch, where's this going? No. Did, well, I'm like, does Mitch, does Mitch Kenny score? Like, does he just the grand final? Did he, he did score in the first uh, try. Well, I was just like, who's someone in and around near where the hooker stands that isn't the that? Hooker. <laughs> the hooker's a guy in and around the hooker. Yeah, yeah, but I'm like, maybe it's just like that middle, like, you know, if I can just get the third. You're looking it, for a middle. Yeah, exactly. Like, I'm just trying to get a bit of value. And I was like, just throw. The hooker would be Mitch Kenny. Yeah, but I'm like, I'm just going to outthink the room here and go. Uh, Get someone close to the hooker if the Sharks have a weak middle. Get Yo in there. Twenty nine ninety six. I don't mind it. Just like again, I'm desperate, and these are guys who I've just well clearly I'm on a little bit. Like as I, I'm barely on them. So just, just you guys stand up and just do something. Just get all the the, the household names of Penrith for the last fucking five years. Could just score a try and give me something. Is this just give a me play something. to us? It's a play to Isaiah, really. and it's outsmarting uh, some stats that were because Tyler's is a dollar fifty six. Clear, he's like two fifty. So it's a it's a plea to us uh, to us pretty uh, much yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's just the hooker who isn't the hooker yeah that is like he's breaking the record for most games for Penrith this weekend and yeah. uh, his five tries against Cronulla is the most tries he scored against any other well, club. Well, because Cronulla let him through the middle as he said Absolutely. last week. So wait, like <laughs> most games for Penrith. <laughs> most nah, games for Penrith. On, how many yep. is it? Two hundred and forty-four. Actually, pretty low. So they don't even have any three hundred games. No three hundred. No two fifty gamers. So well, he no. scored his most amount of tries against the Sharks. The Sharks, who you say have a bit of a weaker middle and hookers score against them. But Isaiah Yo, not a noted try scorer, has scored not his most hooker, tries <laughs> against the Sharks. See, I told you only what I was fucking talking about. There we are, twenty nine ninety six. I love it. Listen. <laughs> He's won me over. All you know the need, best yeah, part? Mate, all he needs, you're just going to give the kid COVID, let him <laughs> shit out like 10 kilos. And then COVID just, and gastro at the same time. Thank oh, wasn't that much. a feature of the COVID? No, gastro is going through the day. Daycare was like, honestly, uh, like a post-nuclear fallout the other day because I think my baby's had it first and I went and everyone's just sick. Like all the teachers, oh, all Jesus the ba- like So your gastro, kids gave it to them? Probably. Yeah. Um, I don't know where they got it. They would have got it from someone. But COVID and gastro. So on like day... To a COVID, I was like, oh, maybe the like the good days kind of work. And this isn't as nearly as bad as I remember. But it was like fucking like anyone seen Lord of the Rings? You know, it's like the, the good day was the horses charging in, smashing COVID. But then you hear they're like, Ooh, giant fucking elephants. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh my God, I get to fuck. The gastro just floored me, man. It absolutely king, floored me. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just floored me. Yeah, I've um, seen like you get gastro worse than anyone else. No where, food like, poisoning. I get it well, anytime I'm overseas. But, like when he's sick, I've never when, had when he's like spewy, vomity, it's like I'm. You're in the other room going, <laughs> is he gonna die in there? Like, <laughs> well, I thought, thought I was gonna in die York. in New York. I New thought York, I was gonna die in New York. Fiji, what's you almost died. What's the sort of what are we? What's Dude, like the scream, the sound, screaming, like the sounds that come out of he's him. He screams. It's like. <laughs> it's like it sounds like someone's getting murdered in no, there, dude. New York, I was like gonna die. I think I I ordered a like burger on an airline 
uh, that was like probably like a frozen burger, and then oh, they just like microwave it, then went out and had a bender, and then nearly died. First the time I'd ever seen someone vomit up bile, where he's a just vomiting up yellow air, shit. <laughs> air, <laughs> airplane burger, booting like yellow. I'm like that was like egg yolk. Yuck, dude. Worst part about that was I got lost in the city because I was out with dinner and everyone, and I was trying to play it cool, and I was like, oh my god, I feel like shit. I'm just gonna get a, a like a taxi home. And then Didn't you, like, uh, not know where they we're kicked in? me out of the taxi and I projectile vomited. I had no idea where I was. I'm like, Don't be to Manhattan Street asking people, like, excuse me, where's Man? But fucking Manhattan Street's like three Ks long, and I'm like, oh my God, where's the White Castle? <laughs> <laughs> and then finally get to the apartment, then I don't have a key on me, and then I can't get onto them out at dinner, and they're in fucking And I just had to sit there tree outside the apartment vomiting. Um <laughs> For fucking hours, because <laughs> we weren't like, coming all the way back. <laughs> <laughs> you know, finally it took three days to heal. Finally got better, and then sliced my hands open trying to abseil into the apartment when I got locked out, yeah. and fucking had to walk around America with bandages all around. He wrapped my hand. string around his hand, <laughs> not string and, rope. No, but I thought it was actually st- it wasn't rope. It was thin rope. It was string basically. <laughs> and him and Hickey were trying to cl- they climbed up to the roof of our apartment and then tried. No, to- because we were me and Hickey were locked out of the apartment, which had a rooftop access. I was like, "Where's the nearest heart?" Because we found if we go to the building next door, there's a window you can open and abseil onto our roof and get onto. And you didn't get gloves. No, I, didn't, I hadn't climbed Dude, a rope. He had it wrapped around his hand, and then he got like he got down and he goes, "All right, sweet." And then jumps before this thing had been unwrapped, and it just tightened around his hand. And he just got rope burns oh. like all up his fucking hand. <laughs> we come back, we're like, it's like in wedding crashes where it's like, your brother, he's, he's down again. We're like, what is his deal? <laughs> Jesus Christ, we look away for two seconds Fuck and somebody fucked himself up again. Yeah. The yeah. one question I do actually, or the story I need you to tell though, because I don't think we've had it yet, because you were fucked last week, but was when you were in the Uber <laughs> driving to Gulf, because mm. this could be where it all started for you, the sickness. Well, yeah, look, the thing is, the gastro is in daycares, but maybe it started here. Um, was it Friday? On a Friday, I was getting an Uber to Wakehurst. Had to go, had to get the Uber in. Got to do some stuff for Fireball, you know. Be smart, be responsible. And then maybe he's about like five minutes away from Wakey. I heard him like do a bit of a like a bit of a grumble. Yeah, Uber driver. Yeah, and I was like, what the fuck was that? Like, and maybe he did a cough or something. And I was like, and I was timing in my head. I'm like, five minutes. I can see. I'm like, if I can hold my breath for like a minute at a time. It's only five breaths that I might be contaminated here. If if what I think. It, is like something might be wrong with this guy. And so I'm just like mm, mm, counting, like mm, holding my breath. And then he just went and just like vomit everywhere. And I'm like, what the fuck? And he pulls over and I'm like, but then he like, it's a busy road. And he's like, I'm so sorry. And then it was like trying to cross the busy road to like hide himself vomiting over there. I'm like, dude, there's cars everywhere. I'm like, obviously I'm getting the fuck out of here. But I'm going to make sure that you're okay. And then he's just like coming back and like got a, a coffee cup and just like vomiting into that, <laughs> and it just stinks. I was like, dude, I need to get my golf clubs out. Did you want I need to get my get, look. Get get. I need them out of here. And then just fucking like just walking to fucking wake us. Tobla, I'm fucking walking. You might need to pick me up. <laughs> <Don't have enough. laughs> so that ridiculous. could have been the gas. Yeah, I think I feel like that might be with the gas. Wow. Yeah. Well, did you think about putting your head out the window instead of holding your breath? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But still, like, still in around there, like the window. Bruh, I, put, the window I put the window down, open, and just be tough yeah. sucking in like lungs of that air. Like a dog. Were you uh. sitting behind him? Yeah, of course. So you weren't sitting on the other side of the seat. In the front seat. What I mean is, you're in the back. I'm the back. But were you in the back directly behind? Oh no, I'm always back answer. left. Yeah. I'm always back left. Okay, yeah. If you were in the front, would you have got splash back? Was it like, uh, like I wouldn't have seen like chunks, but there would have been like yeah. splash Particles. back. You can't see. You know what I mean? It's oh. like great. Yeah, I hope everyone's just, enjoying this. Um, yeah. yeah, just one of the things that happens to me. Listen, Sebo, yeah, basis. Sebo's, um, uh, Sebo's up to his did, fucking. Did the driver get his head out the window when he vomited, or did he just cop it? No, like on on his like wheel and stuff. And yeah. Lee got out eventually, but like he just went like from like str- just. Uh, I would have probably gone. I would have pulled over if I was the driver. There's I a, think um, he must have been in denial. Like I just got to get this guy here, and then yeah, yeah that's yeah, what it would have yeah, been. Yeah, 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 sounds like it. There's a famous uh, Newcastle knight who uh, was well known for on a night out instead of going to the bathroom to vomit, he would tuck his shirt into his belt. Vomit. What? Why? Yeah. Why? Why? Who what fucking it? edge is that? Oh, I won't say names. No, I'll tell you okay. after. But yeah, we'll uh, you could fair. probably guess. <laughs> okay. uh, That's foul. Have we gone your bet yet, Guru, for this no, game? No, I have no idea, but I'll do it again if not. Um, no, I haven't. I like this bet. Uh, 
Sharks to score under 14.5 points. I really like that. It's at about $1.80. Uh, Cleary is an anytime try scorer. And then Panthers minus 5.5. That's $4.93. As far as I'm concerned, uh, I'm betting on Cleary to score at four ninety three. Yeah, yeah. Look, I mean, again, you can afford to go low odds. So I, you know, I feel like a lot needs to yeah, happen I can't for nothing. Do, I can't but I can't, I can't, I can't fuck that. with that sort of shit. You know, <laughs> I can't do it. Can't do it. I've got the most lippy bet of all time, and it is what it is. I sort of thought I'd do it and then see if anyone else did something that took my fancy that I could steal. And no disrespect to any of you, but none of the odds are high enough. Panthers minus fifteen and a half is paying like two twenty. Which I just think is fucking easy, right? And you could, if, if, if time were different, I would maybe just go with that and triple it. But I've gone top or two plus. I think the Sharks get fucking pumped in this game, by the way. Can I just start there? I think they actually get pumped. I think it's embarrassing and everyone feels bad for them. But, you know, I just think that it's a, a smash up. Panthers minus 15 and a half. Top or two plus. This is where it gets really dumb. Uh, Garner to score, but also to score first, second or third. And then Dylan Edwards anytime. You're going to get 93-63. Yeah. Yeah. No. It's tough. It's tough, dude. No, it's tough. It's and just, I'm triple stake. Yeah. Triple stake. It's tough. That's a tough bet. <laughs> yeah, no, it's tough, dude. Like, I, <laughs> I did it, and I was like, this is... Yeah. No, it's tough bet. It's tough. It's tough bet. It's tough. Yeah. Yeah. Tough. I will be showing that one on my profile as well, if anyone wants to follow that. Um, <laughs> tough but bet. I, I understand if you don't want to, uh, I won't hold it against you. Tough bet. You still have a bit of cash to play with, though, don't you? Like, what are you... Yeah, but I'm chasing. <laughs> I'm chasing. I'm not like... It's not about not trying to Chasing lose. what? Well, I don't know. I'm just hoping to win some fucking bets. Like, the higher the odds, the better I'm going to fucking do here. And then I go into my unit scooper and you wait for that. Wait for that one. <laughs> It's desperation stakes. I don't think I'm going to fucking lose to you guys, but, you know, there's still, there's still a fire. I think you're as desperate me. as you're acting. You probably I'm, can't catch me, but you can... Well, no, but I want to catch you. Sure. That's my dream, right? <laughs> You've got to have a dream. You've got to have a dream. you got to have a dream. Have you ever had a dream? Uh, the occasional. What's yeah. your dream? <sighs> Involves a baggy grain. Yeah. Mm. So there you go. That's I'll tell you what, I, I actually do have a little bit of a dream come true this week. I got an email last week from New South Wales Rugby League. Uh, invited me to come out to the Jersey Flag Grand Final this Sunday on my fucking birthday at the Jersey <laughs> Flag Grand Final. Is that not perfection? That's exactly how you would spend your birthday. Without a doubt, I was going to be there anyway. Who's playing? <laughs> uh, Bulldog Sharks. You frothing? Heaps frothing. <laughs> I love Good. that. And and again, like that's love why that. you are the rugby league guru because I, and this is no disrespect, if it was on my birthday prefer to put a bullet in my brain. <laughs> uh, now, let's get onto our unit scoopers. And that's no, just on my birthday. Just on my birthday. Yeah. Lippy Panthers, Cleary, Togana, oh, $12.09. Cents. Shit odds. Yuck. Time to scoop some units, punters and dribblers. Uh, Edward, what are you thinking here, my friend? I don't know what I'm thinking. I don't know. I'm all at sea. Yeah. I liked one market, Panthers to score 10 points. Only 10 to score 10 points. I, I've already talked about that. That's paying 330 But I can't put on a unit scooper playing $3.30 because I only get three units if it gets up. So there's no fucking point in doing that. So how do I pad this thing? I, I don't know how to pad it outside of just throwing shit at a wall. Except this guy's not shit. He's good. Jerome Hughes, maybe just maybe there's a break in play. Maybe fucking Pap goes through the line and then he's looking for a man on the inside to give it to so we can score a try early in the game. And that's Jerome Hughes, first try score, 52 80 Padding a three dollar bet with a sixteen dollar is all time. I love that. <laughs> what else can I do? I genuinely Roo? hope it works for you. What else can it. I do? Rue. All right. Uh, I like Daniel Tupu. Storm minus four point five. I've got Cleary scoring. Penrith minus fourteen minus nine point five. And I'm going to throw in my Sharks under fourteen point five points in this game. Twenty two dollars ninety eight cents. That'll probably get up. You yeah, yeah, it'll, that'll that's, probably get up. That's a good bet. Fucking dog seven. <laughs> I'm just trying to find a constitution here, and that's a bit of in the six and sevens. Seven and six, six and sevens. Uh, Hughes, Munster, Luai, Cleary, 162.38. From like an odds perspective of the chances of both sixes and sevens scoring in a game, should that be like fucking much higher? Just from the like... Well, okay, how often does it? Well, how often does it happen? That's what I mean. Sh- like the, the teams are short favourites. So I think 162 yeah. is pretty fair. Yeah. 
Like Hugh's been biggie. scoring him. Munster hasn't been scoring, but can score well, him. They scored one last game. Yeah, like, but they score a bit, you know. And I think the main thing is the Sharks are likely going to get pounded. Oh, so. sorry, these are separate games as well, aren't they? Yeah. Forgive yeah. me, they're yeah. the favourites. So you got both. four. No, no, yeah. that's, I take that back. Yeah, I'd four running back. halves in short favourites. In yeah. one game, yeah. there would be. In one short. game, be short. Yeah. Sorry, I was, I was not paying attention there. Uh, I've got a desperation bet. Uh, this is. It's paying some. <laughs> it's paying a a healthy one thousand four hundred and twenty nine dollars and twenty three rugby league cents. Uh, oh. Now I've got Dommy Young, yep. Jerome Hughes, Angus Crichton, Tyron Wishart, Dylan Edwards, Luke Garner, Taruva. Anytime. I don't think it's actually that fucking Wait, crazy. Six try scorers is. Yeah, dude. Yep. I'll show you the slip. Don't you worry, yeah, dog. Right. I'll show you that slip. Uh, I repeat: Dommy Young, Jerome Hughes, Angus Crichton, Tyron Wishart. Dylan Edwards, Garner, Taruva, and that is 1,429.23. It's pretty good. Yep. It's pretty good. Like for a desperation bet. Yep. Tyron Wishart's, even... Tyron Wishart's paying shitloads. Yes. Of, of off the bench. Yes. Yeah, but I mean, for that. Otherwise, bro, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of, it's a lot of money. Sink Guru's dreams. Yeah. Don't sink it, you would. Oh, I'd sink That'd the be heartbreaking. fuck out of it. Um, Imagine if then the week after he came up with a monster and then got you well, back. Well, it's the greatest show <laughs> of all time. Uh, what's the lippy doing? No, Melbourne Panthers, the brick, one, two, or three, Cleary, 10 plus points, paying no idea. Yeah, I couldn't find the Cleary 10 plus points market. If maybe I'm an idiot. But it'll be on the screen. It's not order. up yet. It'll yeah. come up later. Okay. Sweet. Uh, let's get to the hot seat, and then we've got to get to our uh, dishy bet for the Million Dollar Chase, and we'll get out of here. All right, hot seat time. I need something from this season. I've fumbled a hot seat before, and this is my last shot. I only get two in a row. I just thought the Penrith line was going to be a lock, right? Like 11 and a half lock, and then got excited, but it's $1.85. So I have to go Penrith 13 plus. Sharks. Somewhat brave, you could say, against the cows, but they needed the win. But I just think Penrith come out and just pump them. Thump them, hump them, all that sort of stuff. So 13 plus covers any sort of pump, thump, all the umps, you know? So 13 plus, two bucks. I need this, I think this is a lock, and then I'm into the GF to get a thousand bucks. There we go, Sebo, Panthers. 13 plus, two bucks. I like it. Yeah, I was just saying, I think the um, I think Penrith pump them. I think it's the safest bet of the round that Penrith pump the Sharks. Yeah. I want you to lose this it's one. Safe so bet. it's annoying. Yeah, I want because, you to lose this one. And I don't think Because you lose it's this like one. you could say regular season they might like take the foot off the throat, but I think Penrith are like, no, we fuck up teams in yeah. September. Especially and teams that we have to like this is let's just let's stamp our fucking yeah. authority. Send you the, straight back to Yipstown. Yeah. Um so yeah. All right. Oh, there good you luck go. to you, bro. Okay, before we get out of here, one more reminder that tickets to the end of season party on the 18th of October at Wentworth Park to see the final of the Million Dollar Chase, you go to milliondollarchase.com.au. Their tickets include four hours of canapes and drinks, as well as a chance to take on the great Ryan Pappenhausen in a kickoff. Now, 10 lucky guests, Edward, will be given the opportunity to kick a rugby league ball 40 metres to land in a million-dollar chase bin, and you win 100 grand each. $100,000. Yes. Mate, that's not that... I don't think it's that hard. No, it's not that hard. We're actually going to give it a crack on Friday, I believe, you and I, just to see how we go, whilst we also try and bury AFL and their set shot situation. Correct. Um... Correct. Now, the Million Dollar Chase basically is, it's like regional dogs just winning races to get to the fucking, like, you, you know what I mean? You, you just keep winning and then you get yourself to the Million Dollar Yeah, it's chase. like the FA Cup, but for dogs. Correct. So you can be like a slum dog and mm. then you- And become a millionaire. And become a millionaire. Yeah. Mortal Kombat, just like fighting your yeah. way up to the top. Last yeah. week yeah. we- Like uh, career mode. Yeah. Yep. Last week we bet on Tequila Tommy. He was favourite at 360, I think. He lost by like a pubic hair. Literally, they measured it. It was a pubic it was hair. The width of a So, was he hair. done now? Well, he's back running again this week. He's not done. And he's paying six bucks to win. So, listen, I'm personally going to go on him again, but there is also another one we've been given. He's running uh, in Wagga. That's Tequila Tommy, Friday, 7 30. There's also one at the Gardens at 8 30 called Good Odds Cobber. And he's paying 3 30. To win, so do with that what you will. I'm probably going to have a go on both. I believe in Tommy. So do I. Six bucks. Six bucks is a price for a, for a pooch that lost by 
a bee's dick. Yeah. Which is not long. No. So we all want to kill Tommy again. I've never seen a hung bee, have you? I haven't actually, no. 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 No, that's exactly Then again, point. though, it's all about like... Uh, have pound, you seen one or not? Pound for pound. Have you seen a hung bee or not? No, I haven't. No. no. Yeah. Listen, it's I've never, you can't even see the cock on a bee. You know what I mean? Bee's dick. Exactly. All right. So MillionDollarChase.com.au for tickets to the About Even grand finale and the Million Dollar Chase, obviously. Uh, that's us for another week. Thank you to Neds. We love you. And we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Grand final show. Bye. Chances are you're about to lose. For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.